Let's go over the course navigation for our classroom. One thing I love about online courses is that you are in complete control of your dashboard and your classroom. Let's take a look together. When you log into the course, you will immediately be taken to the course modules page. As you scroll down, you'll find the Start Here folder, which is the first place to begin in the course. Next is a link to Announcements. You can click the blue link and immediately go to where the announcements are. Each week is laid out in a folder. The folder for each week is all organized exactly the same. Let's take a look at one of the folders. In each week, you will find a tutorial that greets you to the week and gives a quick overview, followed by the calendar which shows the due dates for that particular week, the study materials, and the assignments. Let's take a look at the study materials. At the top of each study materials folder are the chapters for the week from the textbook. To find the textbook, simply go over to the left-hand dashboard, which we'll go over in a minute, and access the automatic ebook. In each week, you will find the chapters to study for that week. Below that are study materials that I have created. These are the tutorials that I created for you, as well as some information about what is highlighted for that particular week. All of this needs to be studied so that you are completely up to speed in the course. When you have studied all the materials for that week, you're ready to go to the assignments for the week. Let's go back again to week one and see what those assignments are. Now, if you're anything like me, you might be tempted to log into a week and just skip right on past everything and go straight to the assignments without studying the information. I've done it myself, you all, and I always regret it because there's something that I didn't study and it's going to show up in the assignment that I complete. And it always does. As fun as the assignments are, they are carefully measuring whether or not you studied information in the study materials folder. So let's take a look at the assignments together. For week one, quite a few things are due, but they're fun. So you can find the assignments in each one of the folders. When you open the folder, you will find information about the assignment to be turned in, and you will always look for the magic words, Submit Here. When you see those words, you know that that is the place to click where you will be able to upload your assignment. Remember, all assignments need to be PDF attachments. Blackboard will not open anything other than a PDF. In my grade center, all I will see is a blank page with a little box in the middle of it that says, cannot open this document. Make sure everything is a PDF. And so the semester goes through the course modules with week-by-week -week instructions, wonderful things to learn, exciting and fun assignments. There is a midterm exam here with folders and instructions and a place to submit that exam. There are only 10 questions, and they will measure that you have studied and understood the information that has been given you, to you up to that point. For that one particular assignment, I can't take late work because I want to make sure you're on board as we move forward into the course. So be sure that you keep an eye on that as well. On we go through the course, and each week is highlighted with what is covered in that. Now I want to point out to you the most exciting place of the course, where you are absolutely in control, and that is over here in the dashboard. This left menu bar over here, which I will refer to sometimes as the left menu bar, includes links to everything in the course. 
There's your ebook. This has the comp, the course information, a little bit of information about me. Again, you can also access announcements this way. So you have two ways to get to announcements. And you want to make sure you keep up with those. I don't post a lot of announcements because it's just annoying. And I, so that means that the ones that I do post, you want to make sure you open and read and pay attention to because there aren't that many of them and make sure that you do that. Then we have the course materials, the discussion boards. Let's pause right here at discussion boards and take a look at those boards. As you can see, there aren't very many discussion boards to work on because I think that they're very important, but I don't think that busy work uh, helps anybody. So you are all, you will log in every week on Monday and register your attendance. That goes out to the campus and it shows that you are an active member of the course. Easy to do. Mark your phone. Every Monday you'll log in. You'll say, I know what's due this week and here I am logging in. That is on Monday. The water cooler is where you go in and you introduce yourself to everybody and you make lifelong friends. In the course, there's an essay on endangered species. You will need to lock your topic for that because there's only one species per students. Here's the list. This is first come first serve. So you will find the species that you, that speaks to you, that interests you, and you will return to the discussion board and you will lock down that topic. Later, when you come back to this same list, look how fun this is. You can simply click the link and it opens up a study page for the World Wildlife Federation. What? How awesome is that? But you've chosen your, your animal. Now it's time to go ahead and post that in the discussion board. Let's go see how to do that. I've chosen my topic. I go over here. I click this. And I click create a thread. As you can see, I've done here. I create the thread. And then I fill in the little box. I'll show you how. I clicked create a thread and then I see this and I go, oh my gosh, what is all that? Well, here's where the message goes. And I click a title subject that I want to, the animal that I am locking down. I put down that I'm locking down the title there and I insert an image of that animal. How do I do that? I have saved the image to my desktop and then I simply insert the image. I browse my computer. I find the image. I clicked on the image. It adds it up here, shows it there. I insert the image and there it is. It's too huge. So I right click it. I make it smaller. And now I have locked down my image And that's, but it, it right here, of course, is where the text is. I'm locking down and I tell what that is. And then I simply click submit and my topic is saved. Eventually, when I come in, I will see a long list of names and I want to make sure that nobody has already locked down my topic. Back to the discussion boards. After locking down my topic, I will go down to the next discussion board where I will discuss my topic. And I'll follow these instructions. Again, I'll click on this, create a thread, and I can respond to other people's threads, and I will go through that process. Next is the position paper you'll be writing, and this is where you're going to share your topic. You do not need to lock a topic for that. But you will be sharing your topic and talking about what you're going to be doing. And the last discussion board is for the narrative essay where you'll be writing about your short story that you're going to be writing and creating. Super easy. Discussion boards, there aren't that many of them, and that means that they are so very important. Okay, so now where do I want to go from here? I can go back to the course modules. I can go to the library. I can go to the help desk. 
I can go and check out the resources for students. Here's the video tutorial library. This is a place where all of the tutorials that I have created are located. There's a little tutorial welcome you, welcoming you to the library. There's a navigation for the course. Here's if you're lost. Have you ever gotten lost? I have. Where am I supposed to be in this class? This is a little area for that. If you get lost, of course, I can help you find that too. General course tutorials. You can find the tutorial that you might want to go back and study. Sometimes students think, where was that tutorial I saw? It was a good one. It was about that thing. It was about that thing. And sometimes just going to the video tutorial library will help you find that tutorial that you wanted to see again. Here are a couple of examples of me actually writing essays in step-by-step -step instructions. And you can take a look at those if you like, because I like to write the assignments that I give to students. And then for that creative essay, this folder is, just contains all of the tutorials for writing that creative essay. So that's the library. Now I've been in the library. I can go to the Writing Center, and they are wonderful resources. Here are study pages. In case I was like, what was that thing that I read about Easy Bib? Well, it can be accessed right here rather than having to search through the course modules. You can easily go over to your master dashboard and find the pages that you wanted to study. Here's an example of types of essays. And this explains what an argument essay or a position paper which you will be writing. Here's a place where you can learn about outlines and proposals, all of both of which are due in the course. There's your little grade center. And then if you wanted to just easily go back and forth to the weeks, these are modules that immediately take you directly to that week. So that is the tutorial covering the course. Remember, you'll always come into course modules, you'll study through the course, everything is organized, and if you get stuck or lost, you can always email me. That concludes this tutorial.